You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you the next Happy Meal video in our Happy Meal video series. Now, it's going to say Happy Meal Toys, but these are actually a set of four books. And it works out perfect because we're right in the middle of our Valentine's series. Thanks, McDonald's. These are the super sweet Valentines in every book. A four book set and we have the original Happy Meal box. Now I'm not sure if there's an app that goes along with the books this round, so I'll check that out as well. So when I come back, what I normally do is check out the Happy Meal box. So I will do that next and then we'll move on to the books. Here we go, let's check out all the different sections of the box and see what's on it. So here is the side I showed you originally. It's a super sweet Valentine's in every book, so there's a four book set. Happy Meal books as opposed to Happy Meal toys. This side has save room for a fresh fruit choice. And then this side is our smiley guy. And it looks like these are punch out glasses. And then they just go off to the side of the box. I'll turn the box over to see. And then this side says, pop out this door handle, uh, doorknob hanger to let loved ones know that you're busy reading. Oh, that's very nice. And then the next Happy Meal toy set is my Little Pony and Transformers. So let's just see. Let's just take this out while we're here. Why not? So you get a door hanger with your set here, and it's a shark. Okay, here we go. I'll pretend to have a door right here. How's that? I use this as my door. Here, there's my door handle. It seems a little small for a door handle. You'd have to have a pretty tiny door handle to fit this over it. But it probably cuts, let me see, it's got to cut at least one side, I would think, to make it work properly. You probably want to, even though it's perforated on both sides, you probably want to just rip one side and then fit that around. So it's pretty loose now so it could rip again but you kind of do that and hang it over your door how's that i'm not too sure about the glass side the glasses because it's perforated but not let me see let's just see if i can pop these out real quick here i'm not too sure about this side of the box here what it's for maybe you just wear them when you're reading i don't know The perforations on this side are not working too good. Remember I've said in the past it just depends on how the box was cut and perforated. And it's not working good at all. Look, it's leaving it behind, so it's not very perforated there. Not around, not enough to go all the way around. Okay. Yeah, I've never really had a box rip like that. I'm just gonna, well you could leave it like that I guess. There, cut out this, the eye holes are also perforated. And then, go with that I guess. I'm not sure exactly. Probably wear them when you're reading, but there's only one side, so maybe you hold them like spectacles. How's that? Well there you go. Here, there's my door. That's even better than the door I first had. There we go. Nice. So when I come back, I'll have the four books and we'll check those out. All right, so there is an app and I did figure this out. As I was ending, I saw it right away. I'm like, oh, I missed it on that panel. They should have just put it on that panel. Why not put it right there, pointing right there so that you knew that these were supposed to be spectacles on a straw so that you can read your books that way. And I am downloading the app right now in regards to the games. I've got one done, but it's locking up on me off to the side I'm doing that. So let's check out book number one, Valentine's Cards Inside. Okay, and then let's just open it up and see. It's kind of exciting to do a book. I haven't done a book in a long time, actually. I've done books before. So you get these Valentine's cards. There's four and then... Ooh, a nice pop-up card. That's kind of nice. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's just set that out there. And then you get these two cards. And then these cards 
have fill in the letters and there's a Paddington's journey and then Paddington match and then decorate the heart. So you have four different little cards here. Let's see if they're the same. No, they're different. So you have word search and then a maze. A little bit bigger cards on that side. And then the pictures. Look at that. So that is book one. Let's take a quick look at book one. It's from Harper. All right, I can't read you the whole book for multiple reasons. One of them being copyright. So I can show you a few pages so you can see the pictures in there, what everything looks like, and the coloring, and there's the books. Read more of Paddington's adventures, okay? And that is set number one. Let me move it off to the side. I'll keep that together and I'll move in number two, Pete the Cat. I'm not familiar with Pete the Cat. Let me see. I've got Pete the Cat's game up. That was the one that I was able to download and get working. So there we are. And then this comes with some nice cards again. Looks like matching games, maze game, and then a different kind of game here. And there's three Actually, two this size with the perf in the middle, four here, and then one bigger one here. Did I miss something over here? Maybe. No, I think this bigger card was the main card on the first one. And then you get this full set of stickers. Now, what do you think about that? Let's take a look at the pictures on each one. Well, everything's hard to move around and pick up here. There, something to look at while I do this. Pete the Cat Valentine's Day is cool. I think I want to back up and raise everything up just a little. And then I will uh, show you the next one here. Here we go. Pete the Cat thinks Valentine's Day isn't cool. That is until he realizes how many special cats there are in his life. So it's about Pete the Cat and Valentine's. To Larry, happy Valentine's Day from Pete. Okay. Make your own Pete the Cat greeting card and make play. And I'll show you that. I have that one downloaded and ready. So the next book set, it's pretty neat. Each one has cool stuff with it. Is Clark the Shark Takes Heart. Okay, so you have this card set, so it's four cards like the last one. Two cards, and then one bigger card, and then a sticker sheet as well. Pretty neat. Happy Valentine's Day. So it's kind of neat. It's all Valentine's related. Perfect timing, McDonald's. How did you work that out? Right through our Valentine's series, and it says, Clark the Shark Takes Heart. And that is the Happy Meal book. I wish I could read you the whole book, but I just get to show you, I can show you little pages and pieces of it. And there's other awesome adventures for Clark the Shark. All right, not familiar with Clark the Shark. And the last one is Happy Valentine's Day Mouse. Let's see what the mouse has to do. And then you have these Be Mine, which are Stickers as well as Valentine's cards. So they're Valentine's card stickers. I'll review. I don't think I think that's the only one that I noticed is like that. And this are also stickers, so you get two doubles, three, so you get three of the same size, all stickers, and then the book. Happy Valentine's Day, Mouse. And it's pretty neat that there are, ooh, you got some extra puzzles and games in the back of that one. Did the other ones have that? I better go look now. I have to look now. There's a simple book. Easy to read. And there's some of the pictures. There's a cookie with hearts. And let me just check here. I got this one off to the side. The back of this one, no extra puzzles. All right, so it's probably just that one. All right. So I'm going to come back now with all four laid out here, and we'll take a look at them one more time, and then we'll check out the app. All right, there we go. That is everything on the table. Let me get a little bit more of that Paddington card. It was hard to squeeze it all in, plus the spectacles and the door hanger in the upper right corner. Now, they're all a little bit different, actually. If you look at them, this set had all stickers as the Valentine's cards, 
And then the Paddington, of course, had the nicest pop-up card out of all of them, I would think. You know, do you have a favorite book or a favorite set in here? Let me know. I think they're all pretty neat. It's a nice set. It's perfect that it worked out for us at Valentine's Day, right? So let me know in the comments then which is your favorite. I do need to check out the app. I took a look at them. It looks like they are greeting card creators. So you get to make your own cards. When you come back, we'll uh, check that out and we'll see what the app's all about. All right, so here we go. Oh, no, that's not it. It's auto moving there. There we go. It is the books here. So if I click on them, and it'll give me the option to click and play. And let's try mouse. Okay, so hit play. Now it said greeting card maker or creator. So let's see what it's all about. Greeting card maker. All right, start. And let's just see if there's a little... How to play. Choose backgrounds. Choose characters. Oh, so each little icon at the top left is a different option. Choose objects, choose messages. And then use the left right buttons to see more items, okay? And then move items into your card. Adjust the item, oh cool. Double tap to remove, all right. Tap arrow to save card, so down there is a save. It looks like you're done, all right, so I'm gonna make a card. Keep playing. So I'm supposed to hit those arrows. It looks like I can change backgrounds. All right, so let's just slide that over. Ooh, nice background. Now let's go to different objects. I can put mouse in, and then I can make mouse much bigger. Is that what it said? Double tap to remove. Okay, good. All right, and then the next one was objects. Let's put that cookie in there. I think that cookie looks scrumptious. He's happy to eat a cookie. It's probably got to stay within here, I can turn it just a little, all right? And then I can put a card grading in there. To, from, or let's play. Let's move that in. That looks like a fun card. And I said, click this. Saving image to device. So now I've just saved it so I can send it to my computer, print it, whatever I want to do. Hey, I'd say that's a pretty neat little, little app there, isn't it? Let's go out. Let's uh, close. Yes. Let's go back. And then, so you have the other four books with characters. So you could do Pete the Cat cards. I wasn't able to get this one to scan. Oop, it auto flips over. Paddington, uh, I had scanned, and Pete the Cat. So they're pretty much all the same. So we don't need to go into that. And I do need to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and let me know which would you stop. Let me stop that music too. Volume. There we go. Which set is your favorite? Well, I'll just let it scan through all the videos I've already made or shown you with these apps. Which set's your favorite? Which card's your favorite? Which book is your favorite? And did you enjoy the little greeting card app? I thought that was pretty neat that that, uh, out of all the apps so far, I would say it's uh, pretty functional and usable. You can use it, send it to your phone, and then print it. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.